Oh boy. <clears throat> Good morning, Weatherford, Texas. My let that light on more. I'm so tired, man. I'm so tired. <clears throat> Let's see if they hear yet. Alright, let's get up. AP was off. Let's get the day started. Let's get unloaded. And while that's starting and charging up, we're going to get out there and take our tarps off. It looks like the uh the workers are pulling up. Let's get the truck warmed up and get this stuff off. And head back east. Alright, we at the gate waiting for them. We got everything unstrapped and untarped. Sun is about to come up. I promise it's not that light, it's just the camera. Get this offloaded and try to beat this Dallas traffic. See, this is what's wrong with the supply chain. I've been here all night. They supposed to unload me before seven. They just sitting there shooting the shit. Excuse me, my language. And they got that truck not loaded or nothing. They just sitting there. They could have just unloaded me and let me get out of my way. But this is what we doing. This is the supply chain problems right here, people. This is exactly what's wrong with the economy right here. Lazy people at these warehouses. Like, this move out the way, man. Let me get unloaded and go. Y'all, let me out of here, man. But this is what we got to deal with, people. And traffic is just building up in Dallas. Good job. Good job, idiots. All right, we finally got empty. So, let's head back and go pick up another load. All right, we made it out of Texas. We coming through Louisiana. About to cross into Vicksburg. Uh, we're showing a 645 at the plant, so we're going to try to get loaded, but if not, I'm not going to get too mad. I'm going to try to head over to the gym and go work out or something. Um, but we're going to keep rolling. We're picking up a uh, Prairieville, Louisiana load, going to the high school just south of Baton Rouge. And uh, we're going to keep pushing, so let's hope and pray we can get loaded today. All right, guys, we made it, as you can see. We got our load 700 mile dead here. We got loaded. All right, let's strap it down and go park up at Walmart. What's up, YouTube? All right, we back. We made it to the Walmart in uh, oh man, uh, Brent. Hey man, real quick, man. Oh, let me cut this truck off because it's vibrating. All right, we good. All right, man. You see the title of the video? We deadheaded 700 miles, man. 700 miles. And um, uh, but it was worth it. They paid me the deadhead. Uh, we got the load. We went. We drove from. We actually went s minus the, the minutes I took to get over here. I'm lying. 710 miles. Um, we got the load picked up. This load is going to Prairieville High School in Prairieville, Louisiana, right outside of Baton Rouge. And um, delivers tomorrow by 2 o'clock, I think. But I'm going to be there by 12. So, um, but yeah, man. That's the economy right now in trucking. Um, but thankfully, uh, I'm getting paid round trip. They pay me the deadhead. I essentially be, uh, essentially I am, I am essentially paid to be readily accessible to this one plant I'm at. I'm not gonna tell y'all my cheat code or where I'm at. Um, but uh, these drops that they have, this one customer, this one guy in Houston, and then this one particular company out of Baton Rouge, New Orleans. They're pretty much single-handedly keep this keeping me rolling. Like they have work for the rest of the year. Like 
I mean, it's a recession outside. They don't know. They couldn't never tell. Uh, they got government contracts. So um, I don't know if anybody notices, but if you ever go to Texas, they have the biggest schools in America. They have the biggest football fields in America. And what they're doing now in a lot of school districts in the major cities like Fort Worth, Dallas, Houston, they're building new schools. And they're like the size of universities. You go to Louisiana, Louisiana is having an infrastructure overhaul with their schools. They're building new primary schools, new high schools. So between Louisiana and Texas, I mean, me being an in-house carrier for this particular plant, bro, I'm not, I'm not feeling nothing. I'm not feeling no recession out in town like the average driver would be going around, you know, in the, in the truck industry. Um, yeah, man, I'm pretty much straight for the rest of the year, at least. You know, some of these job sites I go to, they're going on for the next two years. And it's a lot of taxpayer and government uh, funded jobs because it's like schools and stuff. But they're making so much money that they're paying me to deadhead to be readily accessible just to run their loads only. And they loads only, no other loads. Like I might do a few one-offs in there, but I'm essentially working for them. And they just paid me the deadhead 700 miles from Weatherford, Texas back to Birmingham. That's crazy. You know, I'm going to run another load for them going to, 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 right outside of Baton Rouge. So um, I, I would have liked to get back to Texas, run another Texas load because, you know, we're going on vacation this week. But, hey, we're just piecing stuff together. So we, we ran a load. We sat on one load, delivered to Weatherford. We're going to do this Baton Rouge with Prairie Ville load, and then we may squeeze in another load and then go to the house. I'm trying to get home Wednesday night, man. Um, we are going to Chicago. I'm going to go see Kevin Durant play against DeMar DeRozan. So, um, yeah, man, that's the economy right now, man. You got to be able to piece stuff together, get you some net network, get you some contracts, you know, because the spot market is shitty. These companies are on a hiring freeze. The leasing the whole game of leasing the truck is pretty much dead. If you leasing the truck right now, you stupid. Excuse my language, you you two, you know. But I argue with anybody right now why you shouldn't be leasing right now. It's no money in leasing. Like you're not gonna make it. You break down, you're out of the game. So um today was a nice little quick short video. You saw I got frustrated at the beginning of the morning. They was dragging their feet. Hey, that's the supply chain. They're not really doing that much business, but it don't matter. That's a big uh mega store with government job sites other than that they ain't selling crap so whatever but i thankfully i made it with 15 minutes before they closed at the plant to get loaded otherwise i was gonna stay night the plant be first in the door at 7 a.m screw that and um you know we just gonna go from here tuesday is a new day and uh hopefully tomorrow's better i can hopefully i get it i can i can find another load once before i get this off um, I probably won't make it back up here to Calera. I'll probably shut down to Tuscaloosa because I'm, I'm not going to have quite enough time because it's about five and a half, six hours from this part where I'm going back. So, but yeah, man, we're going to go over here to the Pizza Hut restaurant. And I'm, I parked at Walmart and uh, we're going to get us some salad or whatnot. I'm going to edit this video and post it tonight. And that's going to be that, man. So uh, I'll see y'all in the morning. Y'all be safe, save your money. And boy, I got a lot of trips and a lot of moving around going on over the next month. The next 30 days is going to be wild. I'm going to be flying and flying. So y'all be safe. I'll see y'all on the next one.